हेलो टीचर्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास नाउ लेट अस सी दी सेंटेंसेस प्लीज रिपीट आफ्टर मी आई वेंट टू सी अ डॉक्टर हु कैन क्योर माय चाइल्ड द डॉक्टर वाज अ पर्सन ऑफ वेरी पॉजिटिव थॉट्स एंड आल्सो स्पोक अ लॉट How about saying the above sentences as I went to see a pediatrician he was an optimist and a loquacious person So which one do you find more comprehensible and impressive Yes the second one Here we have used the words pediatrician optimist loquacious as a substitute to replace a group of words without creating any kind of ambiguity in the meaning of the sentences This replacing of a group of words with a single word is called one word substitution In this module we shall discuss about one word substitution in one word substitution you are required to use one word in place of a group of words however remember that while doing so you must not change the exact meaning of the sentence there are certain specific words that stand for a group of words or indicate a place a situation or state of mind like the word biography can be used in place of the sentence the life story of a person written by someone else now let us see another example a person who takes a dark view of things or a person of very negative thoughts here instead of saying this full sentence we can simply say pessimist it describes the state of mind of someone who always expects the worst so constant practice in one word substitution enriches our vocabulary it also helps us to achieve brevity and clarity of expression to communicate effectively in minimum time it is very important to acquire knowledge of one word substitution in english language there are a lot of single words for a group of words that can be used effectively now let us see a few one words which can be used as substitutes in place of a group of words so let's see the first group of words please repeat after me to renounce power office crown throne right here we can replace this group of words with a single word abdicate It is a word reserved for a king or queen or any other person who is in powerful position. Now, let us see how to use the word abdicate in a sentence. Please repeat after me. This is not the time to abdicate one's civic responsibility. the king decided to abdicate in favor of his son
Now, let us see the next group of words. To do away with or to end a law, a custom or an institution officially. Here, we can simply say to abolish. The word simply means to uproot a law or custom in such a way that it can't come back. Now, let us see how to use the word abolish in a sentence. Please repeat after me. Sati Pratha was abolished in India. The government is planning to abolish subsidies to farmers. Now, let us see the next group of words. Instead of saying a stage of growth between childhood and manhood, we can simply say adolescence. Now, let us see how to use the word adolescence in a sentence. Please repeat after me. Their children are on the verge of adolescence. He struggled through his adolescence. Now, let us see the next group of words. One who doubts the existence of God. Here, we can replace this group of words with the single word agnostic. Now, let us see how to use the word agnostic in a sentence. Please repeat after me. Although he was raised a Hindu, he was an agnostic for most of his adult life. Praveen may be an agnostic, but surely is not an atheist. Here, it is important to know the difference between the words agnostic and atheist. Agnostic refers to someone who believes that nothing is known or can be known of the existence or nature of God. And atheist refers to someone who does not believe in the existence of God. Now, let us see the next group of words. One who engages in any pursuit for the love of it and not for gain. Here, instead of saying this full sentence, we can simply say immature. An immature is a person who takes part in an activity for pleasure, not as a job. An immature is also someone who lacks skill in doing something. Now, let us see how to use the word immature in a sentence. Please repeat these sentences after me. This cricket tournament is open to both amateurs and professionals. He 
was an amateur photographer. In this module, we have learnt that how we can use a single word for a group of words. In the next module, we shall learn some more one word substitutions. Thank you.